Scorpio. Let's see what's coming up for you guys Oops. in the next few days. What's coming up for Scorpio in the next 30 days? Actually, next 30 days. Scorpio, next 30 days. Knight of Swords. All right. <clears throat> next 30 days for Scorpio. Five of Cups. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. Damn. Wow. Jesus. Scorpio, Three of Swords. What's coming up for Scorpio? Four of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Page of Swords. Wow. All of these swords. What the hell? One more. What's coming up for Scorpio? Next 30 days. Jesus Christ. Damn, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. Ooh, child, you are going to go through it, huh? Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, okay. So I'm not laughing at you. It's just, it's a lot. I'm like, holy hell. So we've got the Five of Pentacles as the overall energy. Obviously, there's a... There's destruction of some sort because there's way too much energy of disappointment and sorrow and hurt. And there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, basically. Um, but your reading is like similar to Virgo's in some way. <clears throat> if you have Virgo energy, I, I highly suggest you go watch the Virgo reading. What you don't realize is that the reason the tower happens is because we're we're in a place we shouldn't be we have five of cups five of pentacles three of swords and the tower this is this is the universe taking you out of a place that was not meant for you and then you getting mad about it you're getting mad because you're like but i was comfortable there that that thing or that place gave me validation but that's the whole point. Your validation was coming from an external source, not from yourself. So now that it's taken from you, you're like, well, now I have no worth. And that's not true. That's, that's exactly what the healing process is about. Why are you basing your worth on something that was outside of you? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's... Um, well, actually, before I start clarifying, we do have something like you, you interpret this as like, this is happening too quickly. I don't know what's happening quickly, but you're saying it's, it's too fast. Could be the ending. It happens suddenly, suddenly, and you're interpreting it as like, I feel like it's somebody taking action that you see as a tower. Excuse me. Whatever this person is doing this young masculine could be younger than you or you just see them as immature <clears throat> because you're seeing them like they're taking action too quickly they're taking action impetuously and their action is making you hurt their action is making you feel sorrow so then you go into this the, the cold cutting scorpio mode You're trying to tell yourself that this person is <clears throat> not at your level of maturity, but then they show up as a king. So I don't know that that would be true, Scorpio. I don't know if what you're basing that on is your own perception or reality. Because maybe <clears throat> they approached as a knight of swords at some point. But when they approach as king, you get more defensive. This could also be somebody who is in a commitment. Because <clears throat> the king of wands, out of all the kings, is the most likely to be unfaithful. And that could be what's breaking your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. But 
I am sensing an ending because overall we've got one, two, five swords, nine swords, 10 swords. And then we've got the tower. Yeah, there's just too much. There's too much happening here. <clears throat> You're definitely, I feel like this king is also heartbroken though. But you, you're focused, everybody's focused on their own pain, right? You're focused on your sorrow. You're focused on your disappointment. And you're focused on the fact like, well, even though you hurt me, I still love you. It's the, like you're coming from a almost victim mentality. And this king is also thinking of, well, I'm in pain too. But the four of swords follows him. So he may be in the energy of like, but I want to heal. So... <laughs> They may put in the work. They may start putting in the work. And I think that if anything, that may trigger you more because you're like, oh, so not only are we going to end, this person's going to just ride off into the sunset feeling better about themselves and I'm going to be in pain. But Scorpio, you're in the position to expand too. You're just, you're so focused on your hurt. You're so focused on your pain that you're, you, you're using it to hurt yourself. Like you're trying to show this person how hurt you are, but to do that, you actually have to hurt yourself. You are extending your pain to inflict harm or emotional harm on this person. Almost it's self-destructive is what it feels like. It's very self-destructive. <clears throat> and it's coming from this place of seeing this this connection as the source of your of being destitute now like you feel like i have nothing now because you you took yourself from me and because you took your your energy from me i i am now barren i am now destroyed <sighs> scorpio let's clarify let's use the baby tarot here start by clarifying this five of pentacles The Hermit's Clarify Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. Six of Cups. And the Ten of, of Cups. So, this is a soulmate connection. At one point, you and this person were on the same page. But this connection was meant to teach you self love love for yourself this connection was meant to help you go inwards and and look at you know your value and so this was a resource provided to you so that you could be like oh okay <clears throat> i am valuable i am loved i am appreciated but instead i feel like you focused on the resource and you were just like oh i like this i like this but you never use that to really introspect <clears throat> See, Virgo energy keeps coming up. If you have Virgo energy, please go watch that reading. If you have, you may be, have, have a, uh, can't talk. You may have a Virgo rising. You may have a Virgo moon, <clears throat> a Virgo sun even, um, or a Virgo stellium in your chart. But regardless, <clears throat> you're in the energy now of, well, now this has been taken from me. My happiness has been taken from me. Look at that. You see this as the sun. And there's that king. So you see this king as your son, as your happiness. And if this king is gone, you know that song of ain't no sunshine when he's gone. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but seriously. It's like you are relying on a, a source outside of yourself <clears throat> to give you validation, to give you love, to give you tenderness. You're not giving any of that to yourself, which is why you're in this energy of I have nothing. But let's look at this Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Clarify Knight of Swords. Oof, child. I knew that tin was there. The energy of the tin was in the cards. See, now we have three fives. Five of Pentacles, five of Cups, five of Wands. So much change so much change happening 
And I do feel like it's the masculine. The one that decided to end things. Um, but they're showing up in a very powerful energy. You're mentally, you see them like a knight of swords. You're like, they're immature. They're impetuous. They're, they're not, you know, thinking things clearly, but they're showing up not only as a magician, which means somebody who can take control of their fate, but an emperor who wills destiny to bow down to him. And so when they're choosing to end this, you're like, oh, you don't know what you're doing, but they do. They do know what they're doing very clearly it's just at cross purposes with what you want let's clarify the five of cups <clears throat> clarify five of cups got the two of one two of pentacles on why so two of ones clarify five of cups knight of wands seven of pentacles with the sun card. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So Scorpio, part of the reason why you're so cutting, why you're so defensive um, is because you are seeing this person as, you know, they were just playing with me the whole time. I was nothing but, you know, a sexual conquest to them. They don't think of me as worthy of time and energy. You're interpreting all of this like you were used, is the energy you're giving off here. Whenever this isn't the type of person that uses people, they're showing up, you know, with a lot of power, but not... I don't sense manipulation is what I'm trying to say. There's no deceit here. It's not like they approached with the intent of using you. In fact, they show up in teacher mode with the hermit. A lot of love and soulmate energy. So when they approached you as a soulmate, they truly felt you were a soulmate. And in fact, I think the decision took a long time coming. Two of Pentacles means they really considered this for a while before they took action and decided this wasn't growing the connection wasn't growing. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords because I do think just like you saw them as your happiness, they also saw you as their happiness at one point. It's just not where either one of you is now. Yeah. Let's clarify Queen of Swords. The lovers. The Chariot, the Hangman, and the Five of Cups. So, <clears throat> Scorpio. You're definitely getting into trigger mode. Yeah, because you're reducing yourself to like, oh, I was just a fuck. That's what, now you're... You may even tell that to this person, like, oh, I was just, you know, that's all I was to you. And then you're saying, but to me, you were the love of my life. You were my this, you were my that. Like you're telling them how, how perfect you were for each other, but you're misinterpreting. Like you, you think that this person never felt that and they did. It's just some connections continue growing and others don't. And this one stopped growing at some point. So now you're stepping into your masculine energy. You're kind of, I think you really are trying with the hangman. You are trying to see it from their perspective, but you're very much, I think you're like a little bit of depression right now. And so it's really hard to see things from their perspective. It's really hard for you to understand. You're really confused with the seven of cups. You're just like, I don't understand what happened. I don't understand. We were fine. I mean, you clearly weren't, but you are telling yourself we were fine. We were soulmates. There was so much love. We were each other's son at one point. Yes. Hold on. Wow. <laughs> uh, that was unexpected. 
what the hell scorpio i'm literally doing a reading and my nose starts bleeding from i don't know what <laughs> excuse me i'm actually gonna leave that as part of the reading because <laughs> wow <clears throat> sorry i think it stopped i think it was <clears throat> okay let's see if we can continue so you're very confused very triggered thinking you were nothing but you know a sexual conquest and so now you're being very very jaded very cynical very very ugly because you're stepping into the energy of complete depression and sorrow let's clarify this king of wands because i know with the three of swords showing up he is in pain as well but he is the one making the decision clarify king of wands Well, anything else on the front? Clarify King of Wands. Okay, so yeah, he's making the decision. He's making the decision. Remember when I said somebody outside of you is taking action that makes you feel like a tower is happening? This is king. Although you see them as, you know, being impulsive and impetuous, they're showing up as a king. And the universe is supporting their actions. Tower and death card. This is a necessary transformation, not only for them, but for you. This is what they want. Yes. There is a whole other life waiting for them. And they're just although it hurts they're like i feel it in my bones the death card this is like feeling in your bones that transformation is here the tower is literally pushing them to make this change the universe is pushing them to make this change make this decision <clears throat> let's clarify this three of swords hierophant clarify three of swords Knight of pentacles And the two of cups with the star so here's oh sorry we have fruit flies now and they're getting on my damn nerves um, here's the thing about this Scorpio is that what you need to realize is that when this person gave you a commitment because the Hierophant is commitment like this is public, right? People can see this commitment. So maybe you uh, got married. Like maybe you're legally married because that's a public thing that can be seen. Maybe you are um, on social media. You've tagged each other. Whatever it is, it's like public, right? So with the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, at the time when that commitment was made, this person was under the impression that this is going for a long time. This is everything they wanted until it wasn't like this there wasn't as we saw the other cards there wasn't any growth it it reached a certain point and then it stopped let's clarify this four of swords so you're not in case you're wondering did this person ever care of course they did <coughs> was i just a fuck no there was this is a soulmate connection just because it didn't work long term doesn't mean it wasn't um, the right connection at the time Let's clarify Four of Swords. Let's clarify Four of Swords. We've got the High Priestess. Three of Wands. Seven of Cups. So, part of the reason why you are in the energy of being confused you are in the energy of i guess i just wasn't enough excuse me hold on the blood kept coming down wow the first time i've ever had a nosebleed during a reading scorpio <laughs> had to be during the scorpio reading 
<clears throat> okay. Sorry. Part of the reason why <clears throat> you're questioning whether they ever cared, whether you were just a sexual conquest, is because I think that they're moving forward to a different connection. Yeah, see, they're walking away towards what makes them happy, towards another life, possibly another person. Oof. Maybe Libra, Taurus energy. Um, and so for you, you may have known this, you may have felt it, but you're interpreting that as, okay, so they were never committed. They had their options open. I don't really see it that way because this person is showing up as the emperor and they're walking towards an empress. So it's like at the time you were this match, but you weren't um, the long-term match. In fact, maybe this empress isn't either, but for now, this is their match. <clears throat> it's not that you were a temporary connection at the time. They never saw you as temporary when they came to commitment with you. <clears throat> So it's not so much about keeping their options open and you're in your healing. What you need to come to terms with is the fact that not all connections are meant to last. And your higher self knows this. You yourself are going to have connections that you've walked away from because it just wasn't working. But you're refusing to see that now because you were committed to this one. Let's clarify this eight of pentacles. Ooh. I got the ten of pentacles. Clarify the pentacles. Four of swords. The strength card and the three of swords. With the temperance card. The Scorpio, this is <clears throat> healing can be achieved, which I know right now you really don't want to think about that. Um <clears throat> especially Scorpio energy, you guys have the amazing capacity of taking pain and transmuting it into power. But if you choose, you're taking that pain and transmuting it into revenge. So it's up to you to choose. Because I do see you having to hold back. <clears throat> so you may want to lash out because we have four swords, which is deceptive. So you may want to get close to this person or maybe to their money because <clears throat> um, you want to hurt them. You want, you want for them to be in as much pain. The thing is they are, but they're processing it differently because they're in the energy of acceptance. They're in the energy of like, okay, I realize now this wasn't the connection, you know, that I thought it was. This wasn't my forever person. And you don't, <clears throat> it's like you don't see them falling apart and so you think well if they're not unraveling they never cared and that's not true so temperance comes from moderating <clears throat> those emotions understanding that somebody can be in pain and not be falling apart they're just you know healing they're transforming <coughs> and the more work you put in excuse me the better it'll get for you let's clarify this three of wands nine of wands Three of Pentacles and the World card. Temperance again. <laughs> wow. Temperance again, Scorpio. A lot of self controls needed. A lot of tempering your emotions <clears throat> because you are Scorpio, you feel things intensely. But it's like you're gonna have to control that. That could have been part of what led to this falling apart. Um, because this person is looking at you like, like a wounded warrior, like they've been through a lot with you and they're just, they're wanting to build now. They're wanting to expand their horizons and maybe, maybe travel, uh, overseas or to another country, maybe to, you know, a distant place, whatever it is, it's like, th this is peaceful to them. Unfortunately, walking away brings peace to them. And I know you're going to hate that. And I'm so sorry. If this is triggering, just stop watching. But if you're ready to change, you need to realize that when a connection is this <clears throat> fraught with chaos, 
if somebody says it's more peaceful for me to walk away, then change needs to be um, made. You know, adjustments need to be made, not just for you, but for them too. And they've been adjusting things, and now it's your turn. It's time to level up, Scorpio. Let's clarify Page of Swords. Two of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Cups. <sighs> What's interesting is that there's two towers. One near the beginning and one towards the end. And I think the first tower is this person walking away. But you're refusing to let go. You're coming out with the Nine of Wands, but for you, the Nine of Wands here is representative of I'm never giving up. Because look at, look at this face. Look at the face. I'm never giving up. But that also creates a really heavy burden <clears throat> and weight on you. You're planning. It's like you're planning to follow this person because they're going overseas, they're going or they're traveling, they're doing something and you're like, okay, I'll come to you. And maybe friends, people are like, don't do it. And you start fighting them like, no, I have the right. Like you're telling yourself you have the right to do this. You have the right to pursue your happiness. But it's creating a heavy weight on you, Scorpio. Let's clarify the tower. Because I feel like there's two towers. This would be the tale of two towers. Judgment. Five of Pentacles. Oof. Two of Swords. Four of Wands. So what you really want <clears throat> is to bring this back to life. And I think that this person gives you another conversation with the Judgment card. They give you closure. <clears throat> you know, they're trying to help you come to terms with why this didn't last. Why, yeah, why it was, it was wonderful while it existed, but it's just not, you're not, you guys aren't on the same page anymore. But then you step into this five of pentacles energy of like, oh, so I wasn't enough. <clears throat> now you may not say this because the two of swords is here. But you're feeling it. This is this is how you're interpreting their words. And it's not that this is what they're saying. Remember I said interpreting. This is what you're hearing. You're hearing that you weren't enough. You're hearing that, that you know, you just weren't, yeah, you just weren't enough. It's what you keep interpreting. And it has, it's going to send you into triggers. It's really, but you know what, <clears throat> Scorpio, sometimes triggers are necessary. Sometimes triggers are necessary to heal because it's, it's the only way that you are aligned with the path that's going to help you see things in a different perspective because you're being very stubborn right now. So let's see what your person has to say. What does this King of Wands want to tell Scorpio? I love you unconditionally. So they're always going to care for you. I remember every detail of that day. I don't know. I guess the tower day. I am not available. I bury myself in work to forget you. I want to tell you how I feel. And I love you. <clears throat> I left you before you could leave me. So there's definitely a lot of mixed emotions in there. But do they care for you? Absolutely. They love you. Now let's look for um, final advice from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. This is the final message for Scorpio. Wish upon a star. Let's see. Let's read that message. Intentions based on your desires and aspirations. The act of consciously committing to a vision. <clears throat> sacrificing something of value. Gambling on yourself. Trusting that dreams can become reality. The importance of daydreams. Do you believe your dreams can become real, real or do you shrug them off and chide yourself for being unrealistic? What if you could trust that the world around you holds promise you have not yet realized? Perhaps the point all along is not how something can happen, but the power of wishing and intending. We humans have multiple ways to ritualize owning a dream we want to see manifest in physical form. Think of a wishing well. 
You infuse a coin with your intention, tuning into the feeling of having a particular experience. Tossing the coin into the well symbolizes the act of letting the how go, walking away and allowing the universe to do its part in its co-creative partnership. Another method is to wish upon a star. In doing so, you also look back to our origins, for we are made of stardust. Today, allow yourself to dream and play with different realities. Even if it seems impossible, if it calls you and feels good, why not choose it? Wish upon a star, then live as if your wish were already true. Know that those beautiful dreams you have been nurturing are in the process of becoming real. Don't forget that the act of wishing, dreaming, and intending is more important than figuring out the how. It shows the universe you're serious about playing the game of life and you trust the essence of the partnership. Remember, every dream you believe in and hope for is a call to a twinkling star. The answer will come, sometimes swiftly, sometimes slowly. No wish is ever wasted. So, wish upon a star is about <clears throat> wishing things based on what you desire. Um, and sometimes you have to sacrifice something of value, right? In this case, if you want love, right, if you believe that love gives you value, ask for it, but also ask for healing, ask for things that help you understand how things could happen, right, why things happened. I would, my advice to you, Scorpio, is to ask how, right, how, how did we get here? What can I do better to avoid this in my next connection? Um, because if you haven't healed the part of you that feels like you need somebody else to give you value, then it'll happen all over again. And I think you're trying to avoid that, right? So work on your own sense of personal value so that your wish can come through in the healthiest way possible. Okay? So... Um, I'm going to end the reading there. I hope I, this is like, I know this was a very difficult read, but I do hope it gave you some insight. Okay. Talk to you guys later.